not believe that last video blew up the way that it did. I mean, you all were so, so, so awesome in the comment section as well, letting me know that it was so helpful. And that's all I'm here to do is bring all the tea, all the real information you guys can get when it comes down to not even just IT, but finances and business. So if you're enjoying any of those three topics, I definitely recommend that you continue to subscribe and share this page. And today I'm excited because a lot of you all are dying to know this information, which is how do I actually get into IT? Is the Google Cybersecurity Certificate going to get me as a SOC analyst and all these other positions in cybersecurity? So today I'm gonna to be talking about, so now is the time to get rejuvenated. Disclaimer, apologize for the audio in the beginning because my mic died on me today. Like it's done, done, it's not a battery issue. I know you guys are wondering, how do I get started? How do I get started? You guys have to remember, you have to take the information and apply it. Because people will try to deter you throughout your journey into the IT space and tell you what you're doing wrong, okay? But if they have no proof and they are, have not been in the industry like I have, I guarantee you they're just fluff. They want to just derail you from you getting to where you want to be. So stay focused. You got this, okay? Let's talk about the educational route. You have two options. Well, really three. <laughs> Option number one, you get a degree like I did. I actually have a degree in computer administration and networking, otherwise known as a computer science degree. Now you may be outweighing a computer science degree versus schools like Wagyu or WGU where they have a cybersecurity degree. Now my honest opinion and other IT professionals I've talked to, we're all kind of wondering why they're doing this, but the reality is I don't recommend getting a cybersecurity focused degree. Here's why. You want to be able to move laterally if you need to or you want to. Trust me, I have done it. Me, when I got into IT, I just knew I wanted to get into IT because I love troubleshooting, I love working with my hands, and I love being able to communicate from a technical space. I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go. I just knew I wanted to get into IT. Now, even though you say you want to get into security, you may get there and be like, mm, okay, I'm loving it, loving it. Year four and five, you're like, okay, I want to be an IT manager or IT director, or you may find, I just want to focus on the cloud. I wouldn't recommend getting a cybersecurity degree. I recommend a computer science degree because it covers from a general standpoint instead of being, oh, well, this person is only has a degree in cybersecurity. So that shows me as a hiring manager that you are only interested in cybersecurity. Does that make any sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So that's why I recommend stick to the basics. Another option is a certification, right? Um, when I got started in IT, they wanted me to have at least an A plus, right? And now because times are changing, you want cybersecurity, they want you to have at least a cybersecurity focused certification, which one of the first ones that is the most popular, which I recommend, is a security plus. Now I have this book here by Mike Chappell and David Siegel. I even picked up this book recently because I've been in the field for a long time and some of the terms I have either forgotten or we just don't use it. So it's good to know because now when I'm in a conversation with my manager or working on a project, I can communicate even better and understand what it does. So great book and it comes with a hundred over a think is it over a hundred? Over a hundred flashcards and two practice exams. And I actually have a PDF guide that I can provide to you if you guys want it for free. So if you want it, I will upload that. So we'll have a separate video about Security Plus. But if you're interested in me covering more about Security Plus, I will. Just let me know in the comment section below. Their third option is unconventional. You just keep applying until someone gives you a chance. I always say to people, really, regardless if you get the formal education, the certification route, or both, or neither, Either way, you need someone to give you a chance, especially if you've never been in the IT field. That is it. Unfortunately, not even myself, not anyone you watch on YouTube can promise you that you're going to get into the field. However, I know because I've helped quite a few people, not in just IT, get a job in general, get a good career that pays well. I happen to know that this works, but again, you have to put your first foot forward and again, if you take no action on applying anything that you learn online, even if it's for me or someone else, you're not going to go anywhere. 
you I see in the comments, I can tell you mean well, you're doing the right thing and I'm proud of you guys. Keep staying focused and keep applying everything you learn, okay? I'm gonna prepare you guys on this channel is understanding the industry and how to get paid properly. A lot of people are on here listening to people, again, about six figures and that's great, but I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I am not a guy that has been in tech sales, okay? And if you don't know what tech sales is, a lot of people that talk and talk are from tech sales. And no offense to them, I know they're doing their best to help you guys, but I have the hands-on experience of being in IT, not tech sales. Say you have the degree or you only have the certification or you have both, like in my case. I recommend you build a portfolio, build a GitHub, um, you can even do a YouTube channel. If you're looking to go further into what you've learned besides from all the other people, you're in the right place. Before we talk about just hiring, I need you guys to understand how to navigate properly. And you know what? If I need to go further beyond this video, I'll tell you what. If I get at least 10 people to say, listen, Carson, we're loving this content. We want to go deeper into the IT cyber uh, information that you have, whether we do a session about studying for Security Plus, or we can also just talk strictly resumes and building a portfolio. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. If you are, I'll set it up. I'll give you guys about two weeks to respond. And if I get at least 10 people, I'll pick a date and we'll do it. But if only for people who are serious, okay? This is not for people I wanna waste time, all right? <laughs> in this video, I was literally about to talk about this, but we need to really talk about when you're applying for these jobs and how you can also get them without applying for jobs. Like that, it's cool.